Hey, it's Tyler here for bleepingjeep.com. This is our part two of our rear disc brake conversion for Dana 44. If you haven't seen part one, go back and check it out. That'll uh, explain the steps to how we got to this setup. Now we're ready to weld in the brackets and uh, see if we can't finish up this, this conversion. Okay, so we've got everything set up, everything mocked up where it needs to be. I've checked my pinion angle, everything we went over last time. I'm ready to go ahead and spot weld this in, but before I do one last thing, before I weld that, one last thing I want to do is just hit this caliper with a blast of air, and that's going to cinch up these pads nice and tight and just make sure that I'm where I need to be on this rotor. So I've removed the, the banjo screw here. I'm just going to give this a blast of compressed air. And that's going to lock up that caliper good and tight. Now I want to put this screw back in because I don't want any weld splatter getting up in there and screwing up the threads on where that brake input's going to be. All right, I think we're ready to tack this. Alright Tim, don't judge me on this weld. <laughs> it's the first time I've used this welder. <laughs> I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work though. Alright, now we gotta get to the inside. It's gonna be tricky. I'm gonna have to take the caliper back off and the rotor. And I uh, hope that this stays square. Well, now that looks better. <laughs> oh, that other side's pretty uh, embarrassing. <clears throat> bracket over and whack it out of alignment but I think with all that weld I laid it on laid on the other side we're probably gonna be okay but let's put this thing all together and see if we're a hero or a zero.
So we've got a good, just the perfect amount of, of space between the rotor and the caliper. We've got the, the disc nice and centered in the caliper so that as the pad wears, as the pads wear, then that caliper is going to be able to, to move through its range on these pins. And we should be, we should be in good shape. All right, guys, we are done with this side. Really happy with the way this turned out. A couple of follow-up items. Uh, one of our viewers mentioned putting longer wheel studs in when converting to, uh, to discs. I am going to do that. We'll show that to you in a later video. Uh, I also I appreciated your comments about uh, how to solve my problem with the uh, with my emergency brake. This this caliper has no provision for an emergency brake and I'm I'm really leaning towards the line lock. I think the line lock is going to be the best simplest easiest solution to do that. That's going to be quite a bit down the road so we'll we'll do a video on that when we get there. But uh, I do appreciate you guys uh, your input, your ideas um, on how to to solve some of these problems but I'm super happy with how this turned out. Don't don't look at that well too close. <laughs> the the bigger the blob, the better the job, right? But uh, I normally weld with a little Miller Matic 110 volt, and it's really good up to about 3 16 steel. But with this 3 3 8 inch steel, I just wasn't confident that it would give me really good a good enough penetration and a, and a good enough bond on that. So I bumped up to this Hobart, and it's the first time I've used it. I'm super happy with it. I just had to figure out my uh, my wire speed, but uh, good penetration. Even though the weld's ugly, I think it's solid. I think we're going to be okay. Really happy with how it turned out. All right, that's it. Till next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate your support of the channel. Go visit our uh, Facebook page and also bleepinjeep.com. Check out all the best off-road how-to videos on the internet. We'll see you next time from uh, Project Tetanus.